BBC Radio Leicester. Let me read you this headline. Sexed, crazed, giant house spiders the size of your hand are invading UK homes now. That was a headline from the Mirror last week online. It got me and producer Sophie talking because I don't know whether you've noticed this. It seems that we have more and more spiders in our homes at the minute, even more so than previous years. So we gave our very own Spider-Man a call Spider-Man. for Leicestershire and Rutland. His name is Alan Can. If anyone can, Alan Can. Morning, Alan. Hi, Jimmy. Good morning. So, firstly, how do you end up being somebody who counts spiders for the county? Well, um, I study various kinds of insects, uh, and uh, spiders are particularly interesting. They're really, really common. They're everywhere. They're really important for the environment. They're really important for agriculture. So um, we need to know more about them. So we've got this headline, which I'm sure was there to grab us. But how, how true is that headline right now? Yeah, well, there, are, there, is some, there is some truth in it. I would say it's about half true. Uh, the, the, the good news, if you like, is that the bit that's true is the sex craze bit. Uh, the invading homes bit, well, that's not true. Right, okay. So why are we seeing more spiders then this time? Okay, so the house spider, we've actually got three different kinds of house spider in, the, in Britain, but you can't really tell them apart. They all look the same. You need to put them under a microscope. But that doesn't matter because they all behave in the same way. Um, they live in our houses all the, all the time, all the year round. They don't actually invade our houses. But what does happen is in the autumn, it's fairly true to say that the males do become a bit sex crazed. The females stay in their webs. They live pretty much the whole time in their web behind their freezer or under your wardrobe or wherever you don't clean regularly. Uh, but this time of year, the males go looking for the females. So we see them out wandering around. And nearly all of the spiders we see wandering around, the big ones we see wandering around in our houses, uh, are males looking for females. Okay. And I don't know about you, but I've noticed they seem bigger in our homes right now. Why would that be? Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's more food for them in your, in your house. Um, it, it depends uh, what kind of year they've had. Uh, it, it really depends on how much food they've been able to get, how big they've been able to grow. Uh, but most units are the same size. Same size. The, the, the mirror says the size of your hand. I think realistically you'd have to have quite a small hand for them to, uh, to be the size of your hand. When we, when we measure spiders, we actually ignore the legs. Uh, we measure the length of the body. And we're talking somewhere between 10 and 15 millimetres, maybe 16 millimetres, 17 for a really big female. Um, so I don't know. My, my hand's a bit bigger than that, but I don't know what size your hand is. Uh, well, I've just seen some massive spiders around our house recently. I, I mean, like really big ones. My wife, she she's one of the, she's a screamer. Okay. <laughs> when she when she sees them, she calls me. So I I safely deposit of the spider. I put them outside. I mean, I'm sure you're going to suggest, Alan, we just should leave them where they are. Well, uh, it depends what you like living in your house. I mean, if you like lots of insects and things in your house, yeah, get rid of all the spiders. But if if you're not keen on having insects in your in your house, the spiders are doing you a real favour by you know, clearing them all up without having to use any harmful chemicals. So, uh, if, so you do want to, if you do want to put them outside, and I, I, you know, I can understand that some people might, best place to put them is in the garage or uh, in your garden shed, somewhere like that. So does that mean if, if I've got a spider in my house right now, quite a big spider, is that a male looking for a female, or is it because I've got more insects in my house than perhaps I should be, and that it's finding food? No, if, if, you, if you see one wandering around, if you're watching the TV and one walks across the carpet, it's almost certainly a male wandering about looking for a female. Uh, the only way you're likely to find a female is if you, if you do some cleaning, if you move some furniture and find a female in her web. But they spend pretty much the whole of their lives in their webs. They don't go wandering around. Um, they'll mate with the males over the next few weeks and then uh, they'll lay an egg sac and those egg sacs will, will hatch maybe, maybe in October. Uh, and then the young spiders will go off, but you won't really notice them because they'll be really small. They'll only be a, a millimetre or two long. And then they will find a home for themselves, somewhere quiet, somewhere dark, out of the way. Uh, and then they'll do not a lot over the winter because there's probably not as much food around when it's cooler. Uh, and then next spring, they'll start growing. And then this time next autumn, it starts all over again. The males will go looking for females and they start the cycle all over again. 
Alan, how do you go about counting spiders across the county? What do you do? What's the process? What do you do? Well, I go out um, uh, recording spiders everywhere. Quite a lot of people count spiders, actually. I work for the uh, the Nature Spot website. Uh, people can Google that. We record all the wildlife in Leicestershire and Rutland, not just spiders. Um, and um, uh, you can find spiders literally everywhere. Uh, you can find them indoors, outdoors, uh, you know, in woods, in fields. Um, they're, they're, they're quite important. They're little tiny money spiders that most people ignore um, are actually one of the most important controls of aphids on winter cereal crops. So they're really important. And of course, a lot of other things eat spiders as well. A lot of birds eat spiders. Wrens in particular, a large part of their diet eat spiders. And, and birds use them to feed their youngsters with. So, you know, they're really important in the environment. Alan, it's been an absolute joy to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time this morning. That's Alan Can, who's one of the county recorders for spiders in Leicestershire and Rutland. Spider -Man, Spider -Man. The show's official Spider-Man now. Spider That's what we're calling him. He's a